overall energy kind of went in reverse. Okay, so either this is telling me either you're feeling very stifled, very frustrated, uh, almost like I'm getting like a bird in a cage because you're dealing with a such institution or a job or a profession that is not letting you breathe. Okay, I'm getting almost like you want to go against the grain. You want to break the rules. You want to break the law. More than law, I'm getting you're not really on the same page with what your uh, what your boss the way your boss has a work uh, system okay you're completely opposite okay you're wanting to do something very very different okay or this is just you who is someone who is more like um, not wanting to follow the rule book and you're wanting to go your way okay i'm getting my way or the highway not a stubborn energy but someone who just doesn't like to do things the way they've always been going, you know, breaking away from tradition, like in the half in, in 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 tarot. I mean, it's something someone who's breaking away from tradition, right? Someone who doesn't like to do things that has always been continuing. Someone who wants to, you know, go against the grain, etc. Okay, that's the situation here. But yeah, you could be frustrated. Maybe you really really need to need to chum up your colleagues or your boss, okay, in order for them for you to get the work done, okay. But again. When it comes to you agreeing with what they say, you're just not on the same page. You have something completely different to say, and uh, it's almost like literally you would want to even get in an argument because what you think and what they think is absolutely different. Okay, but yeah, this is someone who's feeling very, very frustrated, bird in a cage, is what I'd say. Okay, and you're forced to follow this rule. It would also mean you want to do something on your own, okay? Wanting new ways of making money, looking at a new career, something that you've never done, okay? But of course, with the higher print in reverse, the only thing I'd like to say is that are you sure or do you know what the risks are about what risks are about doing something brand new, okay? Or what you can lose, okay? That's the only thing that you need to take care of. In the past year, we have the Empress in reverse here, okay? This is telling me that I think you had everything, you had everything that you needed, okay? In your career, probably even in your finances, right? Whether she's in the upright or whether she's in the reverse. I'm getting this is you, you were definitely stable both ways. But when she's in the reverse, I'm getting that there are, there are chances that you're feeling insecure no matter what you have. That's a kind of a, that's someone who lacks confidence, that's someone, um, and that's why things are not growing. The Empress in reverse is lack of growth also. But again, this is a lot of codependency. You probably were very codependent in the past. Maybe um, you wanted to be on your own, but you knew that you needed someone, okay, to make it happen with you, whatever, right? But this is a lack of self-confidence, a lack of growth and expansion, creatively being blocked, okay? You're just, you have a lot of inspirations and ideas, but again, lacking that courage also to, making, to make that um, move, you know, to go forward. But yeah, definitely a lot of self-confidence, lacking, insecurity, okay, codependency. Right now with the four of cups here, I think you're very, very focused right now on what others have. And that's one of the reasons why you're missing opportunities also. You see this card here, right? This guy, he has that cup here from the universe, okay, but he's very, very focused on what the other three cups are. These are your colleagues, okay, your bosses, your competition, whoever, okay, whoever you're trying to compare yourself to or whoever's in your environment. Right now, you're in the space of isolation, bored, you're probably you're really bored with your work right now, okay, and you just feel um, there's no way you can get out of it, okay, but there are opportunities. The problem here is that you're in a very low vibration phase where you're refusing to see the reality more than anything i'm getting you refusing to see the opportunities that are available to you a either because you're too focused on competing with others and too focused on what others have or you're just too focused on what did not happen and not want to see what can happen okay a very negative approach towards your career or you're just playing board a situation is just going nowhere take it how it resonates in the near future we have the king of wands here okay Either you're going to get some idea, either you're going to want to start your own business or there is someone here in your environment who's a boss figure, okay? Uh, someone who's an entrepreneur, someone who's very, very confident, okay, about what they want, someone who's extremely decisive, a risk taker. Now, this could be you, this could be your boss, that could be the person you're dealing with, okay? But in the near future, there's going to be someone like this in your environment and this could be you who's taking action. The king of wands comes in usually when they want to start a new business or a new, uh, you know, some kind, some, a new enterprise or something, okay? But this is a very enterprising card, so I like that. 
what you're doing right now, this is how you see yourself, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Bad investments, wasting money, hoarding money. People could see you as someone very, very stingy. You're probably just saving your money, okay? Or this is just someone again at the, at the worst, this is just a very, very bad partner also. If you're wanting to deal with a partner. But this is how you see yourself and what you're doing, okay? You're just being very stingy right now. <clears throat> Making bad investments, like I said. Not thinking practically, okay? Being very illogical, probably even getting, letting your emotions get the best of you. So again, this could be someone who's even very, very lazy or someone, or probably this is just you who's very, very bad at managing your money. Very bad, okay? Things could be a little chaotic around you in your work environment, okay? But at the same time, this is also someone who could be very jealous. You could be jealous of other people with the Four of Cups. Like I said before, right? This could be someone who's very, very focused on what others have and what you don't have, okay? Trying to constantly... Um, you know, you're not being grateful for what you have. That's what I'm picking up. You're not being grateful. You're not happy for what you have. You're constantly in that lack mindset that I don't have this, that person has that, I want that, I want that, I want that. But you're not seeing what you do have. That's the kind of energy that is going on currently right now, okay? And that's one of the reasons why you're being very, managing things very badly right now, okay? Could be a bad business partner also, okay? But someone who's very, very jealous also at the same time. In your environment with the six of wands in reverse here, again, this is a lack of forward moment. Or this is also someone, you know, who's, um, I'm getting ego, I'm getting um, ego clashes, I'm getting someone who wants to move forward but does not want to put in the work to move forward, okay? The six of wands in reverse is also someone who does not feel supported enough. So maybe you want to do something but you don't feel supported enough. Maybe you want to do something absolutely different and you want to be absolutely on your own. But because this is a big risk and this is something that people have never done before or at least in your environment you want to be like the first one to do something explore something different and you don't feel supported enough okay but this is lacking self-confidence you have everything that it takes to move forward okay but this is just you feeling like i don't know if i can make it happen self-doubt is what i'd say that's in your environment or there's this is how people are looking at you you have the potential to move forward to be successful but you doubt yourself too much could also be that you're listening to other people's opinions in your emotions with the lovers you're right i feel that um there is a partnership that's on your mind could be it doesn't have to be the lovers is good partnership okay but with the lovers here also i feel that there could be some difficult choices that you need to make okay moving forward in your career or your job profession because with the higher field reverse this completely keeps on telling you okay either this is a job that you're feeling again very claustrophobic about okay an institution that you're working for and you want to let it go or this is just a brand new business and career that you're looking for, okay? Now, this is where it is. Either you need to make a choice between two options, okay? Either you want to stay in the same career and leave business and leave this, or if you want to start something brand new, or just go with what you know. That's what the lovers are giving me. The lovers is usually a very significant life-changing decision. And I guess that's one of the reasons why you're so stuck. In the near future, yeah. Strength and reverse. You're lacking the self-confidence and the belief, like I said. Like I said, there is no harm. There is no harm in being this. There is no harm in doing something new. There is no harm in going against the grain. That's fine. But like I said before, are you willing to take the risks and know if something's going to pan out for you or not? Okay, this is lacking self-belief, uh, being a victim, taking the easy way out. Okay, so yeah. That was a quick reading, my battery is drying out, but that's what I have for you and I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.